Riverside Productions. Today I'm going to be doing a Shalike Horse Barn Tour. A little disclaimer before this video starts, I'm going to be uploading a brand new series, episode 1, season 1 of a brand new series, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, let's get started with the video. So here at the beginning of the barn where you normally would walk in, we just have a sign and it says welcome to Riverside Stables. Then next to that we just have, um, I'm working on this little like cart thing and this is for um, my um, Tinker Stein but it's just like the part that goes around the stomach and then the front of the stomach, like yeah. But I'm working on a cart for that now. Then like across from that also, I just have like a green towel for like grass, it's really cool. But across from that, we have my truck and trailer. And there's nobody in the truck right now because there two people drove to go get something. But whatever, um, this is the trailer. And I meant the truck, sorry. And then like next to the truck, we just have Penny, my chocolate lab um, uh, female dog and she just has this little rainbow oh shoot rainbow <laughs> collar on and then next to her um uh, barking with her we have um uh dolly the uh collie and it's by Safari, safari ldt so that's why she's really big but they're just barking at my um tinker stallion um cody and cody has this cute every horse has a halter on even, like all the time except for when they're being ridden and um they have matching um lead rips so that's kind of cool but he's just like staring at them like what are you doing and this is the um stallion's paddock next to the big barn but this is the stallion's paddock and over here we just have a little f um hay feeder for when the horses don't go in their stalls at night so they just have feeding there but he's the only one here because the other two horses are being ridden or being like exercised. But on the fence we have Cody's lead rope which it matches his halter. And then we just have four more halters just for really any horses, probably new horses or something. And next to that we just have our hay and alfalfa. Then behind, like attached to the truck obviously, but um, here we have the trailer. And this is really cool. I suggest getting the truck and trailer. It's really, really amazing. But we just have, this can open up, and I have bedding in there. And then the other side just has, I think it has a blanket or something. No, it doesn't have anything. Sorry, it doesn't have anything in there. I'll close that. There we go. We have, right here, we have Molly right there. And she's just um, leading out her brand new horse. She owns, um two horses and um one she's owned for a while now and this is a brand new horse this is tex or texas and he just has a lead rope and halter that i made for him really cute and he's wearing a blanket and he's being unloaded because i just got them yesterday so they're just being unloaded then who already came out of the stall we have sarah right here she just is um waiting for tex and molly to get out of the trailer um, she just is um, waiting with her horse, Mystery. And Mystery is, I don't know what breed she is. I, I really don't. So somebody tell me in the comments. She's really pretty though. She's wearing a pink and green halter because why not? What if I can fix this? I'll be right back. So yeah, we just have Mystery there. And then behind them, we just have a little area to um, sit. We have a umbrella chair and a table and just newspaper breaking news and then under it we have a magazine now we're going to get into the main barn this is the privately owned uh, not really privately owned this is just the main barn when you come into the barn area so right here we have texas let me just here we have texas stall and it's just empty obviously and then over here we have Wildfire stall, and you'll see him in a bit. Over here, we just have mystery stall, right here. And then here, we have Honey, and this is um, Molly's other horse, and she just has a pink and purple lead drop and head collar. So, it's really cool. So we're done with that, and now we're gonna go down to the bottom of the barn. 
So the bottom of the barn is definitely a lot more than up there. And so let's just get to that. We're gonna start right here where um, this is um, Samantha and she's just, um, she just has a neck rope on for like bareback riding or um, tackless riding. And then here we have um, Maddie and she's just lunging and trying to train um, Wildfire and Wildfire is our wild mustang who um, Samantha just caught actually. So, uh, didn't just catch, she caught, she, um, caught him, like, two weeks ago, and they're, um, making some progress on training him, so they're just, like, they're just, like, trying to gain his trust with, um, the lead rope and, like, halters and stuff. So, yeah, Samantha's getting ready to put that on him, or trying to, at least, so that's Samantha and Maddie. Um, behind them, we have, um... Miss Julie. Miss Julie is our vet, um, ch um, like horse trainer and, um, a groomer, so she can groom anybody's horses really quick or something. And she just was checking out Cora right here, and Cora is, um, one of our, like, advanced lesson horses, and she has a sprained front left ankle, so she can is gonna be on stall rest for a while. But then next to that we have a um, just plate. And then behind the wash stall we just have um, three tack boxes. The last one is for the lesson, the school horse people just to groom them. And the other two are just random tack boxes. Then here we have two tack stands. And here is Sarah's tack for mystery or any other horse that she has. And this is Molly's tack. Then um, on this fence, we just have a um, lesson saddle that is not currently being used, so yeah. Um, but the um, I'm working on making a bridle for it, so that's why there's no bridle. But then behind that stuff here, looking at Cora, we have Chance, and Chance is our Hanoverian gelding, and he is um, not a lesson horse. He's actually owned by Miss Julie. He's Miss Julie's horse. Miss Julie owns three, uh, two horses, but then leases one. Um, so yeah, he's just wearing a cute little black and teal halter. And this is the gelding's paddock, by the way. And the geldings can really go in with the mares and stuff, but it doesn't really matter. And then here we have Storm, and Storm is our Holstein and gelding. He is our um, advanced dressage showing horse, so like, um, he's for like uh, just saw a show lessons for the advanced girls and guys yeah and behind them we just have a little um, feeding thing so yeah and then we're gonna get up there getting out of the paddock we have um, storm and chances like little um, lead drips there here we have night and night is our um, Beginner lesson pony. Uh, he's a Hanoverian gelding, by the way, as well. I think he is. But um, here we have um, um, Lily, and Lily is just um, learning how to lead a horse because this is her first ever lesson here. That's her, and she's just learning how to lead night out because um, the reason why he's a lesson horse is because I meant uh, like a beginner is because he's really kind and gentle, and he can only do. He doesn't really know how to do jumps that well, so yeah. Then helping her lead him out, just in case. Um, we have Miss Lori, and Miss Lori is the owner of the barn. And um, she owns all the lesson horses, so like any lesson horses that aren't owned by people or being leased are owned by her, and yeah. She's also um, a riding instructor. But then away from that, here we, um, we're gonna go up here. And up here we just have um, Penelope, and Penelope is our Shetland Pony Mare. And then here is um, Reagan, and Reagan is trying to ride our um, cow, our female cow, um, uh, Lexi, and Lexi's a very kind cow, but, she's not too fond of being ridden 
let's just say Reagan. Let's just long story short, Reagan is crazy. And now we're gonna go down to the other um, barns. Yep. So we're gonna go right here and go around. Here is um, a one of our barns. Um, this is mainly stallion. It has three um, stallions slash geldings and um, two mares. But in here. We have Domino, and Domino is our, I call him a Mustang Stallion, but I don't know if anybody else, I don't know what breed he really is, but I just call him a Mustang Stallion. And then his halter is just hanging down there. Then here we have Night Stall, and you just saw him. And over here we have Chance Stall, and you just saw him. Here we have Princess, and we'll get to her in a minute. And then here we have Lily, and her halter and Lee Job is here because she's being ridden currently. Then next to that, I made like a U kind of with these barns, but next to that we have this barn which has three um, salians slash geldings. I uh, know it's just, oh, never mind. It's two salians and four mares, but here we have Rose. Rose is our um, Hanoverian mare with her little baby Hanoverian full. Um, uh, Rolfi and Rolfi is our Hanoverian colt, and she just has her pink halter on and her um, little lead up right there. And this is just another uh, schooling saddle. Next to her bar um, stall, sorry, we have Snowflake. This is her stall, and we'll get to her in a minute. And then here we have Daffodil, and Daffodil is our Napstrapper mare, and she is has a yellow and white um, white um had a uh, sorry um halter on sorry that's what it's called <laughs> and she is um an advanced show jumping lesson mare and her cute little bee lo looking um lead jump is right there then across from daffodil stall we have ice and ice is our an illusion stallion and he is owned by um katie and you'll see um yeah, you'll see Katie in a second. Katie owns four horses. Yes, a lot. Four horses, but she's technically, she's training two of them to become lesson horses for Miss Lori, but she owns two. So then next to Isis stall, we have Joy, and you'll see Joy in a minute. And then here we have Cody stall, and you already saw him. Here we have a full-on um, lesson horse only stall barn, like three stall barn. Um, here we have Lunar's stall. I meant Cora. This is Cora's stall. Sorry. I had to change the name because I had to swap out the names because I moved Lunar somewhere else. So I just got to change that name up. But each stall, here, I'll demonstrate how these work. So each stall just has this little thing. And one has a different color um, thing to hook it up. And you just go like this. That's how they work. Yep, that's just how they work. But this is um, Cora's stall, not Lunar's stall. I forgot to change the name when I moved the barn. And then here we have Stormstall, and you already saw him. And then here's Kanga. Kanga is our Arabian mare, and she is um, a school horse, obviously. And um, she's um, a beginner, because she can't really do any jumps, because, yeah. Um, and then next to her, we'll, we have our uh, mare in full pasture. This is our mare in full pasture, as I just said. And this can only fit one mare in one, and her foal, or foals. Um, and we put the mares in here just in case, because we don't want any of the mares to get, um, protective and try and nip at any of the other mares. So, um, anyway, and here we have Cookie, and Cookie is my thoroughbred mare. And she just has her cute little lead drips hanging off. And then here's her full, um, oh my gosh, I always forget his name, her name, sorry. It's Brownie, this is Brownie, <laughs> our thoroughbred filly. And now we're gonna move on to the arena. Next to the Marin Full Paddock, we have, um, this is um, our feeding section. And I just took out this. This is um, our horse feed for the um, all horses. And it just has oats, grains, and vitamins because every horse here needs vitamins because uh, we don't want their muscles to start, like, you know, get potentially hurt from anything. And uh, here, sorry, it's on the here. Here we have very long, but this is for horse feed for, and it has oats, vitamins, grain, and supplements, and it's for pregnant mares, injured 
injured horses or mares with foals. So, like, she, Cookie, for example, Cookie gets it and um, Rose gets it. And, yeah, like, those horses get that. And then next to that, we just have some clay apples and then she'll like apples and carrots. Here we have all of our feed buckets. And the horses that technically, like, kind of live in the pastures, but, like, we only have one horse that permanently lives in the pasture. But if any of them don't, because she's retired, but if any of them don't, they um, get feed, fed in buckets instead of the baskets. So that's why we have baskets in there. But then, moving on, we have an arena. Here, we have a no-name horse. It is our thoroughbred stallion. Yep, and these girls are just doing some flat work. And this is Katie, as I told you before. She owns him, this is her brand new thoroughbred stallion. I got him for Christmas, I still don't have a name for him. And she's just using her tack, and yeah. Also, if you have any name suggestions for any horses that don't have names, please, please, please comment them down below. And they're just like changing their um, direction. So here we have, um, this, oh my gosh, I always forget her name. Okay, so I just figured out her name, and her name is Victoria, or Tori. A lot of girls, everybody really calls her Tori, except for the riding instructor, because she likes to call everybody by their real names. She just has a chest plate on her. And if you want to see how I made that, I will post a video on how I made all my homemade tack. But she's just riding um, Lily. And Lily, um, you saw her stall earlier, earlier, and she's my newer Hanoverian mare. I have three Hanoverians. Um, yeah, she's newer than the other one, but I have a brand new one, but this is Lily. And they're just doing some flat work, um, going around the ring and stuff. Be um, they're only doing flat work because Lily recently just got fully recovered from an injury on her, um, back. S uh, not her back, sorry. Her back, uh, right leg. So, yeah. Um, she, Tori is really excited about that. But then outside of here, we have, um, I call these like the X jump pole stands. I don't know, I don't really know what it's called. So I just call them that. But then here we have two jumps. Um, we have this one and I don't really, I couldn't find the other poles for it. But then here we have another jump and it has all three poles. And we're gonna get on to the mare's pasture. And outside of the mare's pasture, the door just opens up like this. I saw the race pasture, we have, oh, one of them fell off, but we have three lead drops in here because one of the mares is retired and she never really gets used, so she doesn't really have a lead drop right now. And speaking of which, right here we have Poppy, and she's our retired, um, um, Trackner, no, that's not Trackner, um, Tennessee Walker mare, a retired Tennessee Walker mare, and she is, um, Samantha's horse um she just gets exercise now she doesn't get used for any barrel lessons she used to but then behind her we have princess and princess is the devil of all horses really rude and thinks she's the queen of the barn here we have um joy and then back there we have snowflake eating from the hay basket which there's obviously nothing in it now moving on to the last bit here we just have some extra halters and then here we have blankets then here is um lunar stall and outside is her lead drip this is a lunar lunar is our trackner mare i don't know if she's the um special one that i don't know and then here is her full moon yeah it's a, a philly and then here is cookie stall and her door is just opened and you can also use that one and they both have hay feeders so that is the end of my barn tour and thank you so much for watching my video Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And now for the finale, I will just do a little overview of the barn. So have an amazing day and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.